Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to texture mesh uh, in Second Life, like it's regular prims. Uh, it's something I just kind of stumbled into the other day and uh, thought maybe you guys might be able to use this as well. So we're just gonna make like a simple object that we can utilize this with. We'll curve this up a little bit. It's mostly useful for things that like wrap around. Uh, so like these smooth faces along there will be one face. And then this trim, for example, will be one face. We can just get rid of the bottom. We don't need that. And we'll keep it simple. This, this is good enough. Uh, so we grab all these faces that we want to make into like a single plane. And we open up the UV editor, right? This is the UV um, editor window. You just keep this open over here. You select all these edge faces along there. And then you hit U and you hit light map pack. Hit OK. Just squares over here with the geometry. And then once you have that set, you can hit U again to unwrap by using follow active quads. And what that does is it turns this entire wall, for example, say this is a house and this is like a wall, it turns the whole wall into a single strip on the UV map. And then you just pack islands. And yeah, it's a, uh, that's, that's done. You just, Put it on its own material, by the way. You always want to assign each face to its own material. So this will have its own material. And we're going to do the same things, uh, same thing to this trim up here. Unwrap with the U button, light map pack. Okay. Turns it into all these quads. And then you do follow active quads. Okay. Turns it into a big strip. Select the strip, UV, and pack islands. Puts it onto the UV map properly. And for the top, all we gotta do is hit uh, U and unwrap because stuff like that is super simple. It'll just look like this and uh, we'll put that on its own. Oh shoot, I think this needs to be on three. So yeah, there's two three and one we don't need this one so we got this object all uv mapped and ready for second life it's uh good to go so we export as a colada dae dae mesh cube thing export and then we go to second life Upload mesh model cube thing and set physics to high for something like this. It's right, honestly, you could probably get away with cube. That'd be fine. No one will notice. And then set the LOD to like use LOD above, and that's it. Should be fine. Upload it. Resident world. And then you can select each of these faces and it acts like like your texturing prints, you know? So it'll wrap around there. So yeah, you just kinda texture it like you would regular old prints. Pretty useful. You could make a whole sim like this. And you can put any texture you have in your inventory on it.
Just kind of playing around with some ideas you could use. Do that. And bada bing bada boom. Got an interesting shape that you can add to your builds. And uh, up until right about there, it stays one land impact, so uh, it's pretty nice. I'd use it like a stair over here, for example, with this thing I already, ma I already made this, but you could like mix and match stuff that you design. Pretty cool. Alright guys, I hope that helped. You guys have a good one.